you can tell something is misogynistic. I would say first and foremost, and this is racist, misogynistic, um, uh, uh, white nationalist. When um, people start trafficking in in um, discussion of groups, you know, feminists are like this. The ex people are like that. That should always set off an alarm bell for us because it's very hard to talk about groups without falling back on stereotypes and generalization. I think that what um, we we learn when we see the the um, opportunistic appropriation of rhetoric, like, you know, I would say um, in these contexts, men's rights, or you'll sometimes hear people talking about describing affirmative action as reverse discrimination. What you see there is what happens when people take the idea of equality and they willfully depoliticize it. So, you know, when we're having struggles, campaigns for rights and equality, those are campaigns legitimately that are waged in the name of people that are subordinated or denied rights and equality. It's very, very different when you try to leverage those terms from a standpoint of advantage or privilege and um, you know, uh, deny the history of the selective and unequal distribution of those privileges. You see the consequences when you live in a society in which antagonism and hate is so normal, it becomes very difficult to tell who are the people that are really dangerous and and you know you want to take a, a step back and and um, you know now is the moment to say can I distinguish between you know a, a hate-filled misogynistic rant that I'm hearing on my my daily radio talk show you know from a thoughtful respectful exploration of what we can do to help the most disadvantaged, boys and men in our uh, communities to thrive. There are all kinds of very important questions to be asking about uh, boys and men, about the effects of, of um, gender socialization, which um, confer certain advantages on men and boys, but also uh, lots of disadvantages as well. So, you know, men's rights can span everything from those kinds of conversations to um, very um, misogynistic, hate-filled, um, deeply racist, just hate. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.